Welcome to Mornings with Mark. The passage that I'm about to read for you is from John chapter 14. It's one of the recommended texts for this upcoming Sunday. And it's one, along with Psalm 23, that undoubtedly I've read more often at funerals than any others. It's from uh, Jesus, just as he's preparing to go to the cross, he's saying goodbye, an extended goodbye to his disciples in these several chapters. John chapter 14, verse 1. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. The passage goes on. But what strikes me is that it was while I was meditating on this this week that a dear friend called to let me know that his mom had died of COVID-19. This passage that so often has been read looking back at someone's death was the passage I was reading just as it was happening and as we were talking about it. My friend expressed the grief that he was going through of not being able to be there with his mom through these days leading up to her death, not being able to hold her hand as she died. And we talked about the faith that is ours, even in the midst of his grief, that Jesus was with him, with her, with his mom, that Jesus was holding her hand, and that the Good Shepherd was with her as she ventured through this dark valley into that eternal joy that Jesus has been preparing for his mom. You know, for all of us, in this time especially, there's a lot of grief that we're experiencing, losses of all sorts, and even that anticipatory grief, afraid of what might happen tomorrow. In the midst of it all, like the disciples, as they're anticipating in this passage, Jesus' death. It's important for us to hear these words of Jesus, to turn to Jesus and believe in God, believe also in Jesus, all the more so knowing that Jesus has opened up the doorway through death itself. So these words have been encouraging, certainly, for me, and I invite you to reflect on them today, to trust in the one who holds our hands and walks with us in the midst of our grief. Not dismissing the grief, it's real, but also giving us hope in the midst of it. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, thank you that you have come to us in the midst of our suffering. You know the grief that we experience, that you supported your first disciples as they were experiencing grief in their own lives. Grant us the faith to lean upon your strength, to believe in you, especially in the days as we feel loss of all sorts in our lives, even as we face death itself. May we trust you, and we thank you that you are with us, Good Shepherd, every step of the way. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless you.